guys welcome back to another video um today i thought i'd walk you through a sesame street journal that i've made um i don't know if it's fully complete yet i'm still debating whether or not i should sell it keep it add my stuff to it like you know i was thinking of doing some like fabric here and whatever but yeah so i'm just gonna go through and show you guys um how i made it i guess and what's inside so first, I'm gonna just do like a little thing with a cover. We got like, um, papers and stuff there. Oh, there's like, there's mud on that. Oops. Oh, it's just pen. But, um, yeah, that's the cover. I basically just, I took a cereal or like a cracker box, I think, and I tore strips of paper and I just glued it on there. Um, so we have like workbook page, um, music, like scrap of paper, and then this from a book. And then I have spine i'd really have a lot of fun with this um i'd like i did the purple because i thought it brought out the purple on the book page and i did some buttons because i thought that's it's cutesy it's sesame street um there's some more workbook pages and fabric and stuff on the back around the spine and then same thing on the back here um like a little grover peeking out there from abby um and then this is the tassel i had a lot of fun with this I thought it was so cool, um, but it's just got beads and, like, pins and, you know, all sorts of stuff in it. Tons of fabric. I thought that was really neat. And then, um, I kind of attached it by just stitching this ribbon on, so it's not the neatest, but I think it looks nice. And then I have this little binder clip there with some more beads and things in there. Alright, so let's open it on up. Um, here's the inside cover. Uh, I do need to cover this bit, because... Kind of got messed up, but it's okay because journaling doesn't need to be perfect. But I have some Uno cards inside this little thing here. A little Elmo sticker. And yeah, I'm just going to flip through and kind of point some things out um, that are like important or whatnot. Oh, I made a little pocket here. I didn't have anything to put in it though, so I just put that in there as an example. Um, but yeah, I did a lot of little embellishments and I made a lot of tags and put in a lot of like flashcards and things in this journal and I used a lot of different books um like children's books um they weren't golden books so if you're looking for these um I wouldn't look at golden books but um they just came from like the simple paperbacks and they have some beautiful full page illustrations and I just thought that it was super pretty um, here's another one of those things I was talking about. It's just these full pages that you can journal on or leave as is and just admire how pretty they are. And then here's another, um, like, flashcard with, like, stuff on the back. Um, I bought a ton of flashcards a while ago. It was, like, three packs. And one of them, there's, like, shapes and something else. And then beginner words, numbers, stuff like that. Super fun. And I have these, like... I have this tag here that I made. I just put um, paper on the back and then I just tied a little fabric on there and then I can, I've clipped them on through paper clips in here, I have these pockets, but I just think it looks really nice just to have some pop of color um, against the more basic or blank pages. Um, I have a little truck sticker down there. I had a lot of fun making this because I've mentioned it a few times, but I love Sesame Street one of my and like Muppets and stuff one of my favorite things ever it's just so cool here's another full page oh, so pretty look at that this, some of the art in children's books amazes me because it's this beautiful paper or beautiful watercolor and it's just so astounding um we have a little Elmo card here again and this time I made a little pin I put ABC on it and put it on my paper clip the two-headed monster yeah I just had so much fun with this that's why I feel so attached to it and so it's making it tricky for me to um plan if I want to sell it or not because it's just so beautiful this is one of my favorite spreads out of the whole thing because you've got music here with some washi tape and this beautiful full page here with Ernie and Elmo and then you have Ernie here some line paper on the back and then there's this card like a little note card or whatever you want to call it I thought it was so beautiful 
and I just knew it, it matched the colors here really well and stood out against the red. So I put that under the little belly band. And then look at that, another beautiful page. It's just amazing. Um, there's another tag here, and I put a little bit of paper on there that says gangs all here, because the gangs all go not to recess. Um, we have some more. This is the second signature now, by the way. I made a little pocket here with another one of those like word strips, and I just, this one, I didn't put anything on the back because it was um, like card stocky material from the cover of the book. So I did that. Um, and then here's the same book. Just put puppy love on there because there's a little puppy in the window. Oops, sorry, I keep having to enter this book. The work, um, workbook page. And then here is a different book. So the first one was one about school. And this one is about, I think, Grover and his mom's farm. So I have a little um, paper clip there, a wrapped paper clip. I should do a video on those. It's super easy. Um, yeah, so I have some more trucks. I have another belly band. I just stapled the belly bands on because when I was making this as well, my sewing machine wasn't working. I know I say that like all the time, but here's another one. Then I did this like little bit of fabric here and you could sew this by hand by machine. I did by hand. You can see the little, little baby stitches. Just kind of like overlap your fabric together little embellishments in the corner and we're on the third signature now because you can see the <laughs> hideous job in the center just the workbook page i really like doing this with my um some of my pages and journals i like to do a little hole punch and then add on some fabric and you have to do you have to use longer strips of fabric and holes further into the page so it doesn't tear and you could add eyelets to it too. I didn't have eyelets at the time of making these because I got them for Christmas and I made this um, a few months ago. But yeah, and look, another beautiful page. Oh, I love this spread too. Cause you got the teacher, this is a school, a page from the school um, book, by the way, if you're wondering. And then this is the last piece of the cover um, for tags I was discussing before. And you have a little wrapped paper clip here, and it's just a little pocket. Um, I just thought it was really nice. And then I have some tape here, and I did this thing where I put a ton of holes on the side of this, and then a hole in this purple page behind, and I attached it with fabric, and then I cut Cookie out, Cookie Monster out from um, what was it? Um, the workbook, like the I just bought like a kid's workbook with Sesame Street characters to put in this, and. I glued them on there, so there's that. Uh, I have a little belly band with fabric here, and this one um, is cookies, and I put Cookie Monster on it. I just thought it was so adorable. Um, there's Snuffy. Um, Snuffleupagus is never really relevant to Sesame Street anymore, because he used to always be in stuff, and then he just kind of faded away. You can never find him anymore. We have some more blank pages. We have another um, card some more Elmo stickers, and then another really pretty page. And look at that one. Look how pretty that is. And we have another wrapped paper clip, and I put a little pin with some beads on there. Um, I don't have any tags in this part, I don't think. I should probably add some. Oh, we are on signature four, by the way. As we're moving through this, got another wrapped paper clip, and then um, I think my mom got a ton of these for think it was my brother to like just for like motivate motivation for school I'm sure I'm pretty sure I don't I don't remember it's something along those lines but she got a whole pack of them and I kind of wanted one so I asked and yeah I just thought it fit like the learning of Sesame Street and had green and gold which is very Sesame Street as well um we have a little blank page here again and now we have a tag I don't know why this tag is clipped to the um this little half page. I'll probably, I should move that. Um, but it's got a wrapped paper clip and a tie on the top. Um, and if you're wondering about some of these tags, cause they're like curved on the edges, it's cause they're from this book. Here, you can see the puppy here. Um, from a, it's from like a little black puppy series. Um, and I mentioned this in my ephemera video, but 
it has like it's I don't know how to describe it it's like curve I guess it's like a little so it's like a normal book except for it kind of goes out in the corner like a little circle bubble overlapping on the page I don't know and it has a little puppy in the corner and so all the other pages match it to fit in the cover um so some of my tags have that on there I just think it adds some nice shape but here's another girl vs. farm page with really pretty illustrations and his little cow post-it. Um, have some more from there and a little sticker that says fun. It's blue, it just matches a balloon sticker. And then I made this here from workbook pages and like a little sequence. And then there's a two-headed monster, um, what's the word? Flashcard. I keep like forgetting words today. Um, we're almost at the end. I think, what signature are we on? Are we still on the fourth one, two, three, four? Yeah, we're on the fourth still, sorry. <laughs> um, another little pocket here. Again, I didn't have anything to put in it, so I made this like random tag thing. It's kind of useless because you can't write on it because <laughs> the staples are in the way. Uh, and here's the fifth signature. Uh, this one, I didn't have a ton of uh, tags for it because it was kind of towards the end but it's a little fabric there um yeah and this is one of my favorite spreads coming up soon it's not here oh here's another tag from like the back of a book um oh yeah i made this little tag here with this little wrapped uh paper clip that says mom on it like a little sticker and some flowers which i thought was pretty because it kind of complemented the colors in the page on the right and then this spread I thought was so beautiful. I didn't want to put it in another spot where it would be blocked by other pages. I wanted to put it in the middle so you could see the full thing. Um, but yeah, we're almost at the end here. Uh, there's a little stick here that says, We're still prepped to have you in our home. And got some more blank pages. Some half stuff. And the really messy back cover. But that's it. That's the journal. Um, I I just had so much fun making this, and I think it's so beautiful to have all these amazing colors and things in it. And oops, my Uno cards fell out the front. <laughs> but yeah, I just I don't know. I'm at a loss for words because I find journaling and Sesame Street and colorful things so beautiful and so fun. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I know this video is a little short. Um, but I don't want to make it too long, because then it takes, like, forever to upload. But thank you for watching. Um, please make sure to share, like, subscribe, comment, all the things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.